Hello boys and girls, my name is Coach Craig and I'm super excited today because we are learning about four sports activities. How awesome is that? I hope you guys are ready because it's going to be loads and loads of fun. The first one we're going to learn about is cycling. Who's ever seen cycling before? Who's ever ridden a bike? Oh, that's so awesome. Well, today we are going to practice riding your bike or taking part in cycling activities. In cycling, you need to be very, very fast. You need to be able to move around easily. You need to have a strong core, like most other sports activities, and you need to have good stamina. So we are going to work on all of those today, and then I'm going to test your skills. How does that sound? Awesome, so let's get started. Let's start by just running around the room, working out how much space you have. You can go back and forward, side to side, and all around your room. Let's go. Good job, everybody. We're going to have so much fun today. And let's start by loosening up our legs so that we are ready to cycle. So kick your bum, just like coach. Nice and slow, it's not a race. Or well, not yet. Good job, well done. Kick your bum, move around your room. See how much space you have. And now we're going to walk slowly and we're going to do high knees. There we go, nice and slow. Lift your knee up to your chest. Don't bring your chest to your knee. Awesome stuff. Let's go. Great job. And let's go a little bit faster. There we go, faster. And now let's go super fast, high knees, as fast as you can. Good job, boys and girls. Keep it up. Let's move around, let's move around. Good job. And freeze. Boys and girls, quickly, grab a sip of water. I want to see if you guys have your water close by. Let's have a sip together, and then we're going to continue with our cycling activities. Good job. Have your last few sips, then put your water close by because we're going to need it for the rest of today's episode. Now we're going to do high knees, but in cycling, it's not about just moving your legs, you need to hold the handlebars, otherwise you might fall off. So, stick your hands up, hold your handlebars, and let's go. Here we go. Good job. And let's move around our room. Let's cycle around our room. Nice and slow. Good job. There we go. Keep on going. Well done. And let's go faster. Around your room faster. Good job, and freeze. Boys and girls, do you know in cycling, although you need to have strong legs, you also need to be able to move and use aerodynamics, okay? So we are going to practice that, because when you want to slow down, you lift your body big and tall and wide, so that the air can get you and you can slow down. If you want to go super fast, you can make yourself into a little ball, and we are going to move, so that the wind doesn't block us, it helps us to go faster. So we're going to practice that, okay? We're going to go big and tall, on your tippy toes, on your tippy toes, and don't forget your handles, on your tippy toes, walk around, and now we want to go fast, so let's go low, stay on your toes, and let's move around, there we go. Let's move around, ride your back. Good job. And let's go slowly, slowly. On your tippy toes. Don't forget your handlebars, we don't want to fall off. Great job, let's keep on going everybody. And we want to go fast, so what should we do? Let's right, go down. 
Remember your handle bar, stay on your tippy toes. There we go, and let's go. Let's drive. Let's go, good job everybody. And big and tall. Let's go, handle bars out. And freeze. Well done, boys and girls. I think you definitely showed me that you know how to use aerodynamics on a bicycle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test your skills and do a race. Who's ready to try and race coach? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to lie on our back. So lie on your back. Put your handlebars up, hold your handlebars. Lift your knees. And let's just start by cycling. There we go. Don't forget your handlebars. Keep your knees nice and high. There we go. And let's cycle. Let's cycle. There we go. Keep on cycling. And now, boys and girls, what we're going to do is practice our aerodynamics. So, when we want to slow down, we open our body big and wide, then come back up and keep on cycling. When we want to go smaller and use the wind with us, we are going to go small, big and small, or small in the middle board. So let's go cycle, cycle, cycle. Keep your handlebars up, cycle. And let's go big and tall, stretch out. Stretch out, and let's cycle, 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 and now we want to use the wind, so let's make ourselves into a ball, there we go, and stretch out, and come back in, and stretch out, and small, and big, and small, and big, good job, and let's cycle, keep on cycling, don't forget your handle pause. We don't want to fall off. And stand up. Good job, boys and girls. That was awesome. You guys were amazing in that race and with the cycling exercises. I think we all deserve a water break. And then we're going to get into the next activity to see how big and strong we are. Let's go get your water. Okay boys and girls, come back up to the screen, finish drinking your water and then put it down close by because we are just getting started with today's episode. Something that we are going to learn today is really really cool because we test how strong we are. People like to compete against each other to see who is the strongest. What that is, is power lifting. So power lifting is when you need to push a bar up as high as you can and then we see who can lift the heaviest amount of weight. So we are going to practice for that today and maybe even take part in a competition. So I hope you're ready, put your water down and let's go. The first thing we're going to do for power lifting is work on a strong upper body, okay? So we are going to do pull-ups. So grab, grab the top of your bar and you're going to pull yourself down. And grab the bar and pull yourself down. There we go, boys and girls. Grab the bar. And pull yourself down. Keep your arms nice and straight. Good. Go. And pull yourself down. Let's go, boys and girls. We want to get big and strong so we can win a powerlifting competition. Pull down. There we go. And pull. Let's go. Keep on going, everybody. Let's go. Awesome job, let's pull ourselves up. We want to get big and strong. Good job, let's keep on going. Awesome job. 
and freeze. Keep your arms up straight, just like coach. And now we are going to work on our bicep muscles. So we can also have a big, strong upper body. So you're going to lift it. Take your arms, put them out wide, nice and straight. Don't let your shoulders drop down. Keep them up. And we are going to pull our strong muscles. Let me see your strong muscles. Let's go. Pull your muscles. Awesome job. Wow, you guys are so big. Let's go, keep on going. Keep on pulling those muscles. Good job, buddy. Let's go, let's go a little bit faster. Let's go, fast, fast, fast. Great job. And shake out your arms, shake out your arms. Well done. But boys and girls, do you know that it is not only important to do your upper body, otherwise we're gonna look like a Dorito. So what we need to do is work on our lower body. So we are going to practice some exercises for that. We are going to do an exercise called a squat. So a squat, what we're going to do is stick your hands out, keep your back straight, keep your feet a little bit apart, we are going to bend our knees. There we go, and lift up. And go down nice and slow. And lift up. And down. And lift up. Let's see if we can do 10 together. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, boys and girls. I can't hear you counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Boys and girls, when we're doing powerlifting, it's not about speed, it's about using our muscles and our momentum, okay? So what we are going to do is do a squat, bend your legs, stay down low, and lift your arms as if you had a bar. And you are going to hold, 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 until coach says, we're ready, and you're going to push yourself up and push the bar above our head. Can we do that? Awesome, what we're going to see now, so let's squat, hold down low, lift your arms up like you're holding the bar above your head, Hold, hold, hold. And let's go push. There we go, go back down. Back down, hold. Come on, strong boys and girls. Hold, hold, hold. And push up. Awesome, let's go back down. Go back down, hold, hold it. And I think we've got the momentum, let's push. Good job. Boys and girls, I think you guys can have a sip of water with coach. And then we are going to take part in a power lifting competition. So I hope you are listening, I hope you are practicing because you're going to need it. So let's have a sip of water and see if you are ready. Good job, I hope you're having fun. Can you give me a high five? Thank you, good job. Okay boys and girls, finish your last sip of water and put it somewhere close by because we are not done yet. We are going to do a power lifting competition. So we're going to use all the techniques we just practiced. You're going to go down with a squat and hold the bar up for as long as we can. Okay? We are going to see who can hold the bar up for the longest. Is it going to be you or coach? Who do you think is going to win? I don't know, we're going to have to see, okay? So go down in a nice squat position. Hold it there, lift up your hands, and let's put a bar above our head, or let's put the weight above our head. Hold it, and one, two, three, go. Let's see who's gonna hold it the longest. Let's go, everybody. Don't give up. Keep on holding that weight. Let's go, everybody, hold it. Good job, boys and girls, hold that weight. Don't give up. Oh, let's go for 15 more seconds, then we are going to push it up. Good job. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and push it off your body. Good job, boys and girls. That was so awesome. I'm so proud of you. Let's go grab one more sip of water, then we are going to get into the next sports activity.
Well done, boys and girls. That was an awesome powerlifting competition. I'm so proud of you and I can't wait for the next few games. Now we are going to play a game that is quite new to everyone, but it's really, really awesome. We're going to do a sport that's quite new to everyone, but it's extremely awesome. It is eSports. So there's a lot of different games that you can play in eSports, but we are going to play an old game ball that was created a long time ago when Coach was just a little boy. It is called Pac-Man. So this is what Pac-Man looks like. Awesome. And the goal of Pac-Man is to connect all of Pac-Man's pellets or his snacks and avoid the ghosts because the ghosts are trying to catch him. So we are going to pretend to be Pac-Man today and we are going to catch Pac-Man's pellets. But you need to be careful because the ghost is trying to catch us. So let's practice first. We are going to first just run around, run around and when you see a pellet pop up or a snack pop up, you need to open your arms nice and wide and catch it. Can we do that? Awesome, let's go. Let's run around the room. Remember, we are doing eSports and we are playing the game Pac-Man. Let's go. And there's one there. Open your arms up wide and grab it. Good job. Let's keep on moving. This is all about reactions and quick thinking. You're up, there's one there. Catch it, good job. Let's keep going boys and girls. We need to get all the snacks to see if maybe we can get a high score. And there's another one. Good job. Whoa, there's one right in front of us. Keep on moving, keep your eyes open so you can get those snacks as quick as you can. And there's one above us, catch it! Good job! Let's keep going, let's keep going. What's behind me? There! Good job! And one on the side. And one on the side. Good job. Boys and girls, I think our practice is over because we are ready. Now we are going to play a real game. So we are going to move around and still catch the pellets or the snacks, but now the ghost is going to be coming. So if you see a ghost, don't catch it. You need to move away and catch the snacks or the pellets. Can we do that? Awesome, let's go. Move around. Whoa, that's a ghost. Keep on moving. Oh, be careful of the ghost. Look out for all those parents. There's one over there. Oh, good job. Oh, there's a ghost. Stay away from the ghost. Good job. And there's a ghost. Be careful. And the other one here. Good job. And watch out for the ghost. Keep on moving. And get a snack. Whoa, watch out for the ghost. And get a snack. Watch out for the ghost. Let's go everybody, keep on moving. And let's get this one. And breathe. Well done boys and girls. That was so awesome. Maybe next time we can play for a little bit longer and get a high score. You guys are so awesome. I'm so proud of you. Let's have a water break and then we're going to see what cool games are coming next. Boys and 
and girls, come back up to the screen. Go and put your water close by because you're going to need it just now. We are going to play a really awesome game that involves motorized sports. So in motorized sports, you need to have a lot of mental skills. You need to be focused and ready when your time comes to move fast, move slow, or even stop. So what we are going to do is we are going to practice our reactions today. We are going to pretend that we are in a motorized sport, whether it's uh, racing in a car, racing on a bike, in a boat, even in an airplane. We are going to pretend that we are racing in motorized sports and we are going to use the robots. Can you see it's red and green? We are going to use red and green today. What does red mean? That's right, red means stop. What does green mean? Green means go. So we are going to stand at the back of your room. So everybody stand at the back of your room, but watch coach first. We're going to jog on the spot. When you hear the beep, you need to turn around. Look what color it is. If it's red, you need to stay and carry on jogging. When you hear the beep, turn around. If it's green, run up to the screen and give coach a high five. Can we do that? Awesome, let's practice. So let's drop in the spot, turn around, go cheat, I can see you, turn around. Oh, oh. Yes, go, go, go! Good job, boys and girls, well done, that was awesome, now you're getting it. Drop on the spot, turn around, don't look at the screen. It's all about quick reactions. Oh, no, that one's great. Keep on talking. Oh, that's just a red. Great job, boys and girls. Yes, green, go, go, go. Well done, boys and girls. I think we have quick reactions. Let's make it a little bit harder now, okay? Go, 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 go. Good job, let's keep on going. Oh, that's on great. Good job, boys and girls. What is it? Green! Run, run, run! And a half five. Well done, boys and girls. That is so much fun. Thank you for playing that version of Motorized Sports with us. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope the reactions are ready because you're still going to need it for the rest of today's activities. We are going to do a mental game. So I want to see how smart you guys are and how well you know your healthy habits. Because it's just as important as to have physical skills in sports activities or physical activities, it is just important to have healthy habits. So let's play a little bit of a healthy habits game to see if you guys know your healthy habits. Okay boys and girls, you know how to do this. I need your help. We need to go through each row and choose which is the unhealthy option or the option that we're not going to eat while we are playing sports. So let's start at the top. Do you think it's grapes, bananas, carrots, the ice cream or the corn? That's an easy one. It's the ice cream. So let's cross out the ice cream. Let's go on to the next one. I'm not going to help you here. Which one do you think it is? You tell me. Point it out. That's right, it's the chips. Let's do the next one. Which one do you think we shouldn't eat when playing sports? Good job, keep on going. It is the sweet. Well done boys and girls. This looks like it's too easy for you. Let's try the next one. Point out which of the following do you think we should not eat while playing sports? Which one do you think it is? Is it the cherries, the beans, the blueberries, watermelon, or is that an Oreo? Which one do you think it is? Good job. Well done, boys and girls. You are super smart. Let's do the last two. Which one do you think it is? That's right. Good job. And the last one. Point it out. Let's see if you can get them all right. Keep on going and 
That is correct. Well done, boys and girls. If you didn't get them all right, that's okay. We will try next episode to see if you can get some more right. Well done on knowing all of those healthy habits. Let's see what's coming next. Awesome job, boys and girls. Can you give me a high five? You definitely know your healthy habits. Well done on identifying how many healthy habits there were. If you didn't find all of them, that's okay. We are still going to learn about it on the episodes to come. Thank you very much for playing with me today. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned about the four sports that we went through today. It was powerlifting, cycling, e-sports, where we played Pac-Man, and even motorized sports. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you learned something new. Be safe, be healthy, and what's the last one? Awesome, be active. Well done, boys and girls. Give me a high five, and I'll see you on the next episode.